I guess in this video I am going to discuss what the difference between any and all operator in Oracle database. So this is the first point about the any operator. So it returns true if any of the sub query value meet the condition. And with any operator we can use this kind of operators like equal not equal less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to. So add here I am using the table emp. So first see the record. So this is the record here inside emp table. So this is the record inside emp table. Now here after. So this record in dpt number the value is 10, 20 and 30. So 10, 20 and 30. So it's all a duplicate. But the value is 10, 20 and 30. So at here. Uh, select start from emp or uh, here order by it's not necessary now here after uh, where dpt number equal to any so first i'm going to use any operator and here so this is the sub query point select dpt number from emp where dpt number equal to 10 so let's execute this query first so at here it's returning 10 so 10 it's returning but it's all our duplicate so 10 it's a three times now if you execute this query so it will return at your command okay now let's execute that again so see at here i'm getting the output dpt number 10 because at here this value is now if you execute here select a star from emp so this value it's a returning at here 10 20 30 so it's all our 10 20 30 so at here that check 1 by 1 10 equal to 10 it's okay so uh, this will display some values now 20 equal to 10 it's not equal 30 equal to 10 it's not equal so this is the not equal so that here it's not it will not display anything so only this will 10 equal to 10 so that here it's a displaying or uh, db number 10 record now here after let's copy that here now paste it that place so at here select a start from emp so this has dp number has 30 20 and 10 values now here after this time i used at here equal now i'm going to use greater than okay so dp number equal to any so this value is now return 10 so at here this value is now at here return 10 and here so if you execute this all so what output you will get so at here this value is now first time 10 10 greater than 10 not equal so it will not display and here after 20 greater than 10 it's okay so this will display or uh, dp number 20 records now here after 30 greater than 10 so it's okay so this will return dp number 30 record now in place of so this one you can use all operator also so let's execute you will get the same output at here. So at here 10 equal to 10 so that it will display only dp number 10. Now here after you can use all operator also. You get the same output. So at here you get the same output dp number 20 here after dp number 30 you are getting the output. Now the what is the main difference at here about any and all operator. So at here using all operators, so you get the same output with any and all. Now just include at here any. So you get the same output. Now this is the output at here I'm getting. Now about the all operator return to if all the sub query values meet the condition. So all the sub query value meet the condition, then that return to. So this time at here. I used select a star from EMP where dpt number. So if you're going to execute this inner query, so add here select to dpt number from EMP where enum in. So add here from EMP table. So add here enum going to include add here Smith and Allen. Now let's execute this sub query part first. So add here I'm getting the values 20 and 30. So this is add here 20 and next is 30 and if you execute this part so you get at here the values 10 20 and 30 this all so there you get 10 here 
so you'll get the 10 20 and 30 now let's copy this one and paste it down and here after this is here so add here i'm using any operator and you're going to change with all now if you execute this upper query at here so you get the output at here 10 20 so only 10 and 20 dp number output you will get so at here and here after if you execute this with all operator so you will get at here only 10 so how does the query work so at here that check 10 less than 20 so if this condition is satisfied and 10 less than 30 this condition also satisfy so that here it will execute so this will display or dp number 10 values now here after that check or 20 less than 20 so this condition is not true but at your 20 less than 30 so this condition is true so this will display at your dp number 20 values so at here it's all displaying dp number 20 now here after for 30 so 30 less than 20 it's not true and here 30 less than 30 it's not true so that here it's uh, uh, not displaying dp number 13 values now here after this is the part here so this is the part here by using all operator so at here 10 less than 20 so this condition is true and here 10 less than 30 so this also true so that here that will display a uh, dp number 10 values now here after 20 less than 20 so this condition is not true and here this or 20 less than 30 so this condition is true so 20 less than 20 so this is not true 20 less than 30 oh, it's true now here after according to all operator so it will return true if all the sub query values meet the condition so at here by using all operators so it not meet the values with 20 so 20 less than 20 it's a not true so that here it, it's not displaying 20 here and here after 30 less than 20 it's false 30 less than 30 it's false so this is the difference by using uh, any operator so if any condition is matched so at here 20 less than uh, 20 it's false but at here 20 less than 30 so one condition is matched so that here by using in any operator, operator so it will display when any of the values meet the condition so any operator sub query values meet the condition at here then that return true so this is the biggest difference between any and all operator here so this is the diagram so this is the emp table by using all operator so you get 10 10 10 3 times and here any so it will return 20 and dp number 10 values records now here after let's give at here greater and here so if you execute this one so let's see what happened so it's a uh, displaying at here dpt number 30 values so how's this work so at here 10 less 10 greater than 20 it's false 10 greater than 30 it's false 20 greater than 20 it's false and here 20 greater than 30 or oh, it's false but at here 30 greater than 20 it's true and here 30 greater than 30 so this is matching 30 one condition is match here so 30 greater than 20 it's match okay but at here 30 greater than 30 it's not match so by using any operator if any condition is satisfied so that this return the output respective output so this will return at here dp number 30 output because 30 greater than 30 30 greater than 20 it's true and 30 greater than 30 it's false so one condition is match so that if you execute the query by using any operator so it return and here this dp number 30 values now here after you do, just try to do the same thing with all execute this query so it is it's returning nothing because at here or 10 greater than 20 it's false 10 greater than 30 it's false 20 greater than 20 it's false 20 greater than 30 it's false 30 greater than 20 at here it's true so 30 greater than 20 it's true and you have to 30 greater than 30 it's false so at here true and false okay so it return at here by using all operator false so in a sub value returned false 
so that here it's not displaying anything but add here so the same thing add here or 30 greater than 20 so it's true and here or uh, here after or uh, let's give add here or operator and here 30 greater than 30 is false so here yeah, it will return true so any operator return true and here yeah, all operator return false so any operator is just like all operator so if any condition is true so that return true and all operator is just like and operator so if any condition false so this will return false so this is the difference between any and all operator in oracle database or tables so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you